What's up guys? What is Kratom Detox like? What is Kratom Withdrawals like? I took 5.2 grams of red Kratom for 30 days straight. And I wanna share with you what it's like. I'm on day one right now of my detox. And I wanna share with you what it is. Hit that like and subscribe button if you wanna know all about Kratom, mental illness, mental health, sobriety, suicide awareness, and just make it through everyday life. Hit the little bell if you wanna be notified every time I upload a video. Day one of detox with red Kratom. My body hurts. <laughs> Like my body aches and pains are there. I am withdrawing from Red Kratom. I can't even like try and pan it off and say, hey, I'm detoxing. No, I'm, I'm withdrawing from it. The body pains are there. Last night, I did have issues sleeping. I ended up taking three Advil PM to try and help sleep. The three Advil PM actually helped, but I ended up waking up at like four in the morning. I notice also that I do have the goosebumps. I do have the, the hot and cold flashes. Body's shaking a little bit. Um, my bathroom like style has changed. I am crapping my brains out. Um, probably have lost um, five pounds <laughs> in the last day now. And the withdrawal from it has, has hit kind of slow and kind of rapid. It was very similar to when I got sober from alcohol and cocaine. Uh, the first like couple hours of it the first like half day of it, it was like hey gun ho like hey there's nothing here i got this i got this but then all of a sudden you start to feel how your body is reacting now mental detox i'm not having any kind of mental withdrawals or anything from it i'm not craving it i'm not i'm not kicking for it where like oh i gotta go pop some of these i can tell you this though that the the withdrawal side of it though is is a little bit painful it does suck my body hurts a lot more than what it normally does my stomach is all over the place I don't have any vomiting. I'm not getting nauseous. I, I have gotten like two really bad lightheaded spells where like I almost felt like I would drop to the ground where I totally lost all balance, um, became really lightheaded, Re had to like stand still and kind of look around and go, okay, 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 you're good. You're good. Okay. Now we can move. Uh, so I, I am noticing withdrawals from it. It, it does kind of suck. I thought red Kratom would be really wonderful. Uh, it was, it really helped me out with my mood. It helped me out with, uh, my energy level. I don't feel lethargic or anything from it too much. I'm pushing through. I took my dog for a walk today and was able to make it through that. Okay. It, but I do notice just that, that I feel my body a lot more. I feel how my body's feeling a lot more, like my back hurts. My back, I can feel like my back, my back muscles. And it's like, I have a crack in it and I can't, I can't crack it. <laughs> so my muscles are definitely tighter. Um, stomach's all over the board. I still have an appetite. So that's still there. Uh, I do have the sweats a little bit. I notice that I, I'm affected by the temperature changes a lot more. Like if I'm inside with the AC, Versus going outside, it's hot right now that it feels like it's twice as much. I've been around a couple people where like I'm sweating and like dripping sweat off my face and they're not. So about half day through of no red kratom for the first time in 30 days, I'm, I'm withdrawing from it. I do have withdrawals. I do, I have to admit to myself that I have withdrawals. I didn't want to. I wanted to be like, oh, my body is detoxing. I don't have the the mental withdrawals though. I don't have any kind of pause going on where it's like, oh my God, I need this, I need this. If I just take a couple of this, it's gonna make my pain stop. And it's weird how my brain kind of works because it's like, it thrives sometimes on pain. I've struggled with um, harming myself before. And so it kind of like, I know that I'm not numb right now. So there's a part of me that's kind of getting a thrill out of it, which sucks because I'm like, oh, I'm not numb. I feel it. You deserve this pain. It's like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't deserve this pain, but it hurts. It sucks. Like my, my parts of my body go kind of numb. Like my feet go numb first and then my hands will go kind of numb. And then I do like squeezing and clenching of my hands. <sighs> kind of get like, I've been smoking a lot more cigarettes than what I, I do normally. <laughs> um, I'm up to like two packs a day all of a sudden, like hardcore. Because like I, I just I, I feel the withdrawals. It sucks. So be careful when you're taking this. I, I don't have any urge to to get more. I don't have any urge to use any of it more. But I'm feeling I'm feeling the withdrawals from it. I'm hoping that these withdrawals last only a couple days. Uh, I'll do a, a video on like day three to see what it's like, and then day seven. 
by day seven, I'm hoping that I'm fully like over this withdrawal and the, the physical symptoms. Uh, I should be hopefully because I wasn't taking a massive amount of it. I was only taking um, like 5.2 grams, which isn't a ton. I know people usually took a lot more than that, but we'll see it. Um, I can tell you this though, be, be careful when you're using it because there, there is a withdrawal effect to it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, and MDD. My name is Eric. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. I lost my wife and father to suicide. And I do everything I can to share all the experiences, tools, and resources that I can to help anybody out there just through the trial and error of life. Uh, again, hit that like and subscribe button. Click the description box. In the descriptions down below, you'll see links to all my different social medias. You'll see links to the Discord communities for free mental health peer-to-peer -peer support that I've created. You'll even see links down below to things on Amazon like fidget cubes, fidget spinners, things that I've used that have helped me through with just my anxiety, with my depression if it gets too much. Even have a link down below to better help because it's trial and error to find out what works for you. And you know what? Having therapy makes a huge difference. It allows us to fight through and allows us to find some of the tools that we need in life to keep fighting through. And remember that you're amazing. You've made it through 100% of your worst days, make it through two today. And today, today you got this.